Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to install Microsoft Web Platform Installer on Windows Server 2012 by Search in Semi powered by idcoz.com. Let's log on to Windows Server 2012 machine with administrative rights. Let me type down my very secret password. Okay. The server manager opens automatically. Let's go to tools and click on Internet Information Service Manager. On Internet Information Service Manager, select the server node. If you see over here, the Microsoft Web Platform Installer is not installed. To install the Microsoft Web Platform Installer, you can click on Get New Web Platform Components. Once you have clicked on this, it opens a link in Internet Explorer from where you can download the Microsoft Web Platform Installer. There is one more way to get to this link. Let me show you that one too. Open the Internet Explorer and type Google that is G-O-O-G-E-L. Here type WebPI and hit enter. WebPI is short for Windows Platform Installer. Click on the first link which says Web Platform Installer Microsoft. This also takes us back to the same page which we have opened earlier from IS. The Microsoft Web Platform Installer also known as Windows PI is a free tool that makes getting the latest component for the Microsoft Web Platform Installer including Internet Information Service, SQL Server Express, .NET Framework and Visual Web Developer easy. The Web PI also makes it easy to install and run the most popular free web applications for blogging, content management and more with the built-in Windows Web Application Gallery. Now without wasting any more time, let's click on free download. Okay. Click on run to run the file immediately after it is downloaded. The file has been downloaded and now it is running. Let's close the Internet Explorer as we don't require it anymore. It takes few seconds or minutes depending on your internet speed to download the web platform installer. Once it is downloaded and installed, it will show all the available items to download. It has three tabs. The first one is Spotlight on which we are on right now. This shows some of the popular applications. Next is Products. Similarly, in Products you can click on Add and then click on Install to install the applications and softwares which are available in Web Platform Installer. Next tab is Applications. Here you will find applications for blogs, CMS and for many other things. Ok, now let's close the Web Platform Installer and let me open IS once again. On the Server Manager Tools, click on Internet Information Service. Click on the Server Node. Let's move little bit down. Ok. Here you can see the Web Platform Installer is now available. If I double click on the icon, it opens up the Web Platform Installer. This I have already shown you. So let's close this. Ok. You can also open the Web Platform Installer from the Start menu. Let's click on Start. If you are using Windows Server 2012, click on the Windows button to go to the Start. Right click and click on All Apps. From the All Apps, select Windows Platform Installer. So this completes our tutorial of how to install Microsoft Web Platform Installer. Hello friends, thank you for watching our this video tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions, post your comment here or catch me on Google+, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami, powered by itzoz.com and you are watching this on YouTube.